Ready? Okay. Gates have opened. They're off. Divine Shadow, Zephyr Queen, the first to leave from Dima Decoy and Volkswagen Frank up there. Now, the favourite second from last, the Fagazi, through the first couple of hundred. In front of it, Short Black Roman, Champagne Gal, which is near the rails, and then came the Hot Pot. Back last of all is Vital Boom. As they approach the 1,000 metres mark and down on the inside, Zephyr Queen held the front easily for Brown and had them bunched up. Divine Shadow pulling a shade at its girth running second in a muddlingly run early part of the race. Volkswagen Frank's up there third. On the fence Dimer Decoy. Over a length short Black Roman with the neck arched on the outside of Champagne Gal. On the move around them. Vital Boom. The Fagazi's back last. 650 to travel and Zephyr Queen got a really good breather after settling in front from Divine Shadow. Now around its heels goes Volkswagen Frank. On the fence behind them Dimer Decoy waiting on its turn to get clear. Short Black Roman is next from Vital Boom and then Champagne Gallon. The long on Zod Pop is last coming into the home straight with Noski hard at work and coming around them deep. Zephyr Queen kicked away two in front at the 250 from Divine Shadow. Over on the inside Dima Decoy, the Fagazi running on but still a long way from the leader Zephyr Queen. At the 100 Zephyr Queen. Brown's got the stick out comfortably holding Divine Shadow and will cling on. Zephyr Queen wins it by three quarters Divine Shadow and Dima Decoy. Short Black Raymond was fourth home from Champagne Gal. The pattern was all against the hot pot, the Fagazi. Then Volkswagen, Frank and Vital Boom trails them home. Zephyr Queen becomes the first of those leaders to win this afternoon. Dictating the tempo of the race and uh, being able to out-sprint them there. The top three around the home corner have run one, two and three and the fave there coming from last and that was just a bridge too far under the 59 and a half the way the race was unfolding. So Zephyr Queen beats Divine Shadow and uh, Dima Decoy. First, second, third on the turn and that's exactly how they're finished with Short Black Roman back in fourth placing. Zephyr Queen 13 and 250. Divine Shadow 180. Dima Decoy $1.80. So after the maiden York win and then a placing here and uh, beaten down the track at its most uh, recent run rebounds today, Zephyr Queen at the 1400. She was well rated in front by Jason Brown, a daughter of Universal Ruler from Dobozhnikov for Tina and Lois Taylor, F. Chira and AJ Rag, D. Sardelic and K. McShane, CJ uh, Mishkiewicz, and B. Rag and also Mrs. E. Michalopoulos, Ms. K. Haynes and also Ian Rusty Russell. J. Brown aboard. Second placing to Divine Shadow, Blackfriars Colt out of Idyllic Doll, Brett Pope, Troy Turner and third Dimer Decoy by He's a Decoy from Collecting, prepared by Summer Dixon and written by Chris Parnham. And uh, margins are three quarters by one length in 125.59. Well, race six, the Iron Jack handicap at 4.50 today. And number five, Bonneville Black is the scratching out of the next as we take you down to uh, Gareth. And uh, on a day where leaders haven't really delivered the goods, there's a little change to things, but it took a, a very heady front-running ride by JJ Brown. Yeah, it was Jason Brown at his best there. Macker and Jimmy Taylor joins us here. And Sepha Queen, she's always showed plenty of ability, but today she was able to get her own way in front and give a good kick. Yeah, well, we, we've watched all the races and the fences right off today. You can't believe a dry, you know, dry track like this. It's so off. So I got Jason to pull her the middle of the track, and that was sort of the difference between winning and losing. Have you always had a bit of time for her? Yeah, no, I've always liked her. She's a big striding filly, and she got stuck in the field the other day, and she couldn't get into her stride. So, no, I was quite confident she'd go very well today. And obviously that's her best go when she's out in front dictating terms? Well, she's, as I say, she's a big, long strider, and out there she was able to use that stride. All right, well done, Jimmy. Thanks, Gareth. There's Jimmy Taylor there. And Brittany, that's a good winner for the family. Divine Queen, too strong. Yes, it was really good to see the Zephyr do what she did today. Dad was pretty bullish, actually, during the week. And uh, the only thing that really was a bit off-putting was the, the strong money again for the Fagazi and seeing how much fit of that horse stripped today. But uh, I think the biggest thing with this horse is that she just needs to be in that big long stride because the second she was pulled back into the field she just doesn't seem to try as hard and uh, today the key just letting her use that stride and uh, Jason just pulled her to the centre of the track coming down uh, in the home straight and she was
was able to run away with it. So a really good performance there for Zephyr Queen. Yeah, so Sefa Queen uh, returns around $13. Divine Shadow was pretty good back in second, so first and second in its first race starts. What about the Fakaz? He just got too far back, and he's looking for more ground and a race with some tempo in. Yes, well, it looked like he was travelling really strongly throughout and uh, just had to be restrained, restrained, and ultimately, when asked the question, wasn't able to uh, run over the top of them. So with a bit more tempo on, that horse probably travels uh, that little bit better and then is able to finish off strongly. But uh, at the moment, I've got Jason Brown with the win of Zephyr Queen. Jace, early on in the race, there were a couple pushing the question a little bit earlier, but did you know you'd always find the front? Yeah, they, were, they just wanted to hold their spot. No one was really wanted to lead, so they just I was in no hurry. I knew we wouldn't get too much uh, pressure, but they were just letting them sort themselves out because they just wanted to let the race sort of unfold a little bit before they committed to where they were going to be. How much better is she out in front being able to use her big stride than being back in the field? Yeah, well, the other day, you know, they went too fast for her, and so that's where she sort of landed, you know, fifth or sixth. But today, in the 1400, she's probably been looking for the 1400 for the last couple of starts, finally able to get that race, being able to dictate to on her own terms. Is this her best sort of trip, do you feel? Yeah, I wouldn't be stretching her out too much further, but uh, I think she'll pay away in this sort of distance. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Brittany. Yeah, one under Jason Brown, Jimmy Taylor, the Sefer Queen, and defeats Divine Shadow, Dime, a decoy back in third. Okay, we'll be...